Welcome to the top 10 trending moisturizers. Actually, we're on a top 20 this week because there were so many individual products mentioned and it was a photo finish race between the top three on the list. It was only a handful of votes separating them. There were actually over 230 individual products named. So it was a huge, huge voting week. And just as a reminder, the results come from my Instagram page. So don't forget to follow me at Sand by the Counter if you want to participate in the voting. There are tons of great options on the list. So I'm actually really happy with how the results came together. And a few of the brands appear twice. So I think that shows a lot of like customer loyalty, which is pretty cool. I have personally used many of the moisturizers that appear on this list. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions. But I'd also just love to hear your feedback. So if you love something, if you hate something, if you're indifferent, whatever it is, I'd love to hear. So let's get straight into the list. Number 20 is the Jordan Samuel Skin, the Performance Cream. Number 19 is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion, PM. Number 18 is the Beauty of Joseon Dynasty Cream or Dynasty Cream. Number 17 is the Toucher, the Dewy Skin Cream. Number 16 is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors plus H. A. Number 15 is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Number 14 is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Phytoceramides. Number 13, I'll have to read because it's a long name, is the Allies of Skin Peptides and Antioxidants. Peptides and Antioxidants Advanced Firming Daily Treatment. Longest name in the world. Number 12 is the Go-To Very Useful Face Cream. Number 11 is Prequel Barrier Therapy. Number 10 is Skin Rots the moisturizer and I'm pretty sure most of these votes came in for um, the original version not their new like intense cream or rich cream and Skin Rocks offers a fragranced and unfragranced version so these votes combine both so all the products that I've just mentioned I don't really have much personal feedback to give which is why I've just run through the list um, in order Prequel Barrier Therapy, I personally love to use as a body cream and just the size of it lends itself to being a body product. But I've actually had tons of feedback in my own DMs that people love this product. So I assume it works well if you have sensitized skin. And when my skin is feeling dry, I actually really enjoy the Phytoceramides Moisturizer from The Ordinary. It's really rich and indulgent and it's such a cost-effective product. They've done a really great job designing it. Moving on to the rest of the list and I'll throw in a few of my own opinions for the rest. Number nine is Phytosurgence Verdant Force Field. Phytosurgence is a small indie brand from Canada that is probably better known for their makeup but I'm pretty sure Verdant Force Field is like their top selling product their most repurchased product so that's pretty cool it is such an interesting and unique product it kind of feels like a gel cream but it's super nourishing so it feels like it's very oil rich and it has a overarching like green tea story and it has a green tea scent so it's just a really great product and I love using it it does lean quite dewy so I only use it on my days off work when I'm not necessarily interested in having super matte skin but if you actually prefer having a dewy glow to your skin then I'm sure you'll love this and being a makeup brand I'm sure it works really well under foundation too. Number eight is the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair. This is a truly awesome product and also quite unique in the market. It's almost like a serum and cream and has the silkiest texture and kind of and to me kind of feels a bit like a sleeping mask so I'll reach for it just when I want that little bit of extra nourishment and overnight moisturization. Number seven is the Illyune Ceramide Atto Concentrate. I'm pretty sure this is like a cult favorite product within the K-beauty world. I actually ended up preferring this is a body cream as well as a face cream it was a little bit too like basic it's like the equivalent of a derm product maybe for more compromised or easily sensitized skin so I didn't find it that exciting to use but I certainly understand why it would be popular number six is La Roche-Posay Seeker Plast I actually still haven't even tried the reformulation so I don't really have any thoughts to give um, the previous one was a good product I enjoyed it as an SOS kind of thing but I did find that it would clog my pores pretty quickly so yeah, I never had like a particularly involved like relationship with Cicoplast. It was just an every now and then product. So that's just how it is in my mind. But I know some people love it. It's obviously very popular on social media. Number five is Go To Very Luxe Cream. This is a beautiful, beautiful rich cream that actually has a bit of a waxy quality to it. And it kind of feels like it's coating your skin, but in a good way. And I like that feel for a night cream. I'm sure some people can use this in the daytime 
cream if you do have dry skin but for me it's more of like that protective barrier style cream i'm just not personally the biggest fan of the scent you know go to and a lot of their products have this kind of like natural leaning like you stuck your nose in a vase of like real plants and that's fine you know so that's a that's like an acquired scent i prefer my fragrances a little bit more like blended and intentionally designed not so natural smelling but that's like a minor complaint because it smells fine it's just like it wouldn't be what i would put in a product if that makes sense number four is do skin air angel this is a light gel cream moisturizer and to me it actually feels quite dry on the skin so it has a very invisible neutral finish not that it's drying it's just that i'm used to products like this having a bit more of an emollient quality which this doesn't really have it's just like a gel gel it is actually a little bit too light for me to use as a moisturizer but i use it more in like an emulsion step so after I apply a watery serum I can put on air angel and then I'll put on another moisturizer on top and it just gives this extra cushiony layer of hydration I'm sorry if you can hear my jacket I probably shouldn't have worn this because it may be making noises number three is the Naturia multi-peptide moisturizer this is one of my personal favorite long-standing favorites and one of Naturium's original releases this is great because it has a super neutral finish like I wouldn't say it's matte it's definitely not dewy or glowy it's very much somewhere in the middle and I consider it to be a super universal product. I'll usually use this when I don't want to think about my morning routine if I'm just cutting things out for the day um, like I'll cleanse basically throw this on with some sunscreen because it contains peptides and antioxidants so it ticks a lot of boxes in a moisturizer just by itself and it just layers really well under sunscreen. It also has a very very slight skin perfecting effect you know not blurring like not super super blurring but I just feel like my skin always looks a bit smoother and feels nicer when I use this so I'm a big fan number two is the build skincare b cream I guess put simply and if you followed me at all you'll know that I love build like with my whole heart it's like bursting out how much I love build b cream is such a standout standout moisturizer and I would say probably my favorite moisturizer of all time like if I could design a product it would be exactly this it's lightweight but offers just so much hydration but more importantly the hydration lasts all day so my skin always feels looked after and super comforted and because I believe in skincare layering, this lets me put serums under it, suns whatever sunscreen I want over it. It just slots in my routine with ease. It never pills. It never causes me. It never causes me problems. It's just the best. Now sometimes I get comments saying like that I overhype it because ultimately B cream is like a simple moisturizer as a brand build embraces simple ingredients with refined textures and that is the dna of the brand so i don't want to imply that this is like a life-changing product it's just an exceptionally well-made moisturizer that i think blends emollients humectants occlusives in the um, like in a ratio that works perfectly for my skin plus as i mentioned before it utilizes a lamella gel structure as its moisturizing base and a lamella gel is supposed to have like a really good affinity with skin. So it's almost like it just works with your natural skin composition, which is why it is able to be light while still moisturizing all day. So big cream is like 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10, love it forever. And Build as a brand is of course quite an underdog, a small indie brand out of Canada with very small batches at the moment, but I can't wait to see them grow. And I, and I would say they're like an if you know, you know brand, because once you try Build, I can't imagine that you won't have loyalty towards them moving forward and number one on the list is the do skin instant angel this is another favorite of mine and do recently launched in sephora in the us so that's really cool and congratulations to them it's a really smooth soft plush texture that applies almost like a gel cream but then actually develops into a fairly nourishing texture as the day goes on so it's a bit deceptive because it feels like it's going to be light but then it becomes more and more moisturizing as you wear it i personally prefer instant angel as a night cream because it does make me a little bit shiny towards the middle of the day um, but i think if you have a drier skin that won't be a problem at all so that's the end of this week's voting week on moisturizers again let me know if you have any questions or feedback thank you for participating in the voting if you did and i will see you next time